Raptor Call of the Shadows short video game review. There's really no story to this one. It's basically you gotta destroy as much property as you possibly can using, I guess, an F-16 jet, which you can equip with an absurd amount of weaponry, which is, you know, increasingly powerful. I believe there are about a dozen, maybe a dozen and a half weapons, and while they do get increasingly powerful, a lot of them tend to still be useful, even if you get something that's, you know, more powerful than it. There's really only maybe one or two weapons that are literally, essentially useless, you know, especially once you get more powerful ones. There's a nice variety of enemies, and the enemies literally do end up taking up most of the screen, and you have to try to dodge them and their fire, and or, you know, try to blow them up, which is not always the most viable option, because they might have, you know, simply too much armor and be going too fast for you, or they might have a really strong weapon that you don't want to get in front of. One of the nice things about the game is that you literally don't have to blow up anything you don't want to. You can try to just dodge it if you really want. The enemies tend to be limited to these fireballs sort of things that sometimes they can sort of aim so, you know, you really have to dodge and, you know, regardless of where you move on the screen, they're going to try to shoot these fireballs at you. And they're not, you know, like heat seeking or anything so you can you know, try to get out of the way if there aren't too many enemies where you would have to go to dodge them, or you can, you know, try to blow them up before they get too many shots off. The only thing you really have to destroy in any level of this game, as far as I know, is the end boss. The end bosses have, of course, a massive amount of health, and they tend to have several weapons, whereas regular enemies will only have one or two. You yourself can carry as many weapons as you want, really, with, you know, yeah, really no limitations to it. You know, any weapon you have the money for, you can buy and stick on your carrier or aircraft. There are also these shields, I think they're called phase shields, which absorb damage so that your hull itself will not take too much damage, because an integral part of this game is keeping your hull intact. You know, if you lose too much of the energy of, or the integrity of your hull, it is going to, you know, explode, and that's really the only way you can ever really fail. And you'll want to keep as much of it intact as you can for the end boss of any level. There are roughly 30 levels, and you can replay any of them, you know, only limited by the fact that they're divided into three sectors, and you have to play each sector's levels in, you know, in order. But once you've completed an entire sector, you can go back and restart that sector, and you'll have all the cash and the weapons that you've earned along the way. Yeah, that's about it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.